Hi, this is the Frog Wiki. It's built on uh, the learning activities from Frog, but they're being used in a totally different context. There's actually a lot of new cool things that we're almost ready to show. Uh, it's not quite ready yet, but uh, already I think it's quite functional for basic editing and it already has some very nice features. The way it works is just going to chillyfrog.ch slash wiki and then we can come up with any name for our wiki. So for example, I can create a new one for uh, BNU workshop. And here we are. Um, because this is a single page application, the first load might take a little bit of time, but after that, the wiki should be very quick to operate and jumping between pages. So I'm going to show what happens if I have two windows open. So I'm going to open this in a new window as well. And I'm just going to log in as Tian. The login functionality is not very beautiful right now, but um, it worked. Um, so to edit the page, I can click this edit button or I can just double click on the page. And we have a nice rich text editor. So we can start writing, welcome to our workshop homepage. And what you'll notice is that this functions kind of like a Google doc where the things that you write are immediately updated uh, in all the other browsers of all the other users. So this is great for um, meetings or workshops because it means that other people can join and they can um, immediately begin um, contributing. When several people are typing, we see different colors based on who is typing. And so it's easy to keep track of uh, what people are contributing. We can close this page. And we also have um, a history of this page. So we can see here that Bastian started this page and Stian added the W and then Stian and Bastian together added this portion here. And so we can track the changes over time. Um, now we can uh, create some more pages. So I can do control N or I can just click on create new page and I can say I want a page about um, workshop program, press enter. And I'll say, um, let's make a list. So first we'll discuss many things, then we'll meet to come up with some recommendations. See, I'll add maybe a picture, I'll add a little spreadsheet here. So first priorities are doing this. Of course, the table, just like all the other things, are is collaboratively editable. We can add uh, a file. Maybe we'll take a picture. Maybe I'll make that uh, smaller, like that. Okay. Now, one very unique feature of this wiki is that we can also create individual we can create a wiki page where everyone gets their own version. To do that, let's say I want to have individual reflections. And here I'm going to say this is for each individual. Now, if when you see that I go to this individual reflection page, you see here instances, Bastian. So I can say my own reflections are as follows. Now watch what happens if uh, Stian clicks on individual reflections. We see here that there's a new instance. Stian now has his own individual page. Uh, in fact, if we go to home and we can add a link here, um, link to reflections. If I click on this link, I go to my page. And if Bastian clicks on this link, he goes to his page. But what if Bastian's reflection is really interesting and something we want to share with all participants? That's also possible.
we can link directly to Bastian's individual reflection. And now if I click on this here, I'll go to this page. And if I click on it here, I'll go to exactly the same page. So this is a neat um, approach, I think, to quickly getting different people um, brainstorming. And uh, we also support this for groups. So if we have split participants into groups, then uh, we can very easily create a page uh, for each group. We also support um, search. So I can do control F and I can very quickly jump to one of these pages, but I can also search. So I can type in, for example, hello. And we see that there was no page with hello, let's say hi. And we see here that it's highlighted some pages and I can just jump to that page. Uh, I can open this and I can create a link. I can even include another page into this page. So if I want to include the home page, I use the hashtag symbol. And if I want to include the text from the home page, I can actually do it like that. So that's the functionality that's pretty much working right now. Um, there's a bunch of other stuff coming very, very soon, but um, I'd be interested uh, to hear what you have to, uh, what do you think this could be useful for a workshop?